We've got MLB insider Hector Gomez joining us to talk about his Mike Trout to the Dodgers trade rumor tweet from this weekend. We're talking Otani. We're talking the Dodgers offseason plan. That's coming up next here on Dodgers Dugout. It's time for Dodger baseball. That's three. Dodgers have won it all in 2020. Mookie Betts. I don't care how many times this team rips my heart out, I'll never stop loving the Los Angeles Dodgers. Think blue, bleed blue, and I'm out. Hey, what's going on, Dodgers Nation? Doug McCain here. My friends call me DMAC, credential member of Dodgers Media. You can follow me on X and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. If you haven't yet, do us a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you really want to support the channel and you want to see us post even more Dodgers content, do more giveaways, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comments section. Today's Dodgers Nation question of the day. Do you think that Mike Trout to the Dodgers as a trade is even a possibility on a scale of one to 10 how likely do you think it is and for all latest dodgers news head over to dodgersnation.com so we know the big whale this offseason is Shohei Otani, but how about the big fish at Anaheim, Mike Trout? Could the Dodgers really trade for Mike Trout? Would Artie Moreno and the Angels really consider trading him to the Dodgers of all teams? Now, of course, over the weekend, MLB insider Hector Gomez, he tweeted out that the Dodgers are going to aggressively go after Otani and pursue a trade for Mike Trout. Now, for me, I think it's very far-fetched. I don't think it's very likely. It's fun to think about. If you material I'd be shocked. I'm not going to lie. But this is Major League Baseball. Anything can happen. As long as there is some chance, there is a chance. Now, do I think it will happen? No. But I, like I said, anything can happen in this sport. Major League Baseball has been wild the last couple of seasons. Now, I think what's really playing into it, we're going to talk to Hector Gomez here in a second, who tweeted that out, has sources that are indicating that it is a possibility. So I'm not doubting that at all. I just would be pretty shocked to see it actually materialize. I mean, I think this time of year, you've got things leaking, you got trade rumors, free agency rumors, and a lot of them have motives, right? Now, I think my biggest, if I'm looking for ways to talk myself into how it could become a possibility, I would start with, one, the Dodgers are one of only a very small handful of teams that might even consider absorbing the remaining $248.5 million left on Mike Trout's contract. That's a lot of money for a player that's dealt with injuries. That's a lot of money for a player that's probably starting to fall out of his prime years. When you consider the injuries piling up, when you consider his on-field performance has been on the decline. Now, if you could get back to 100% health, could we start to see him put up those monster numbers that he did during his peak prime where he's win MVPs, giving you 10 plus more seasons? I'm not ruling that out, but at this point, you look at other teams out there that have a lot of financial means. Who wants to bring on a Mike Trout? The Dodgers are one of only a very small handful of teams. So if the Angels really want to do the smart thing when they don't re-sign Shohei Otani most likely and go and enter a full rebuild, trading away their assets to replenish that farm system and build a farm system and think long term. It's a five, ten year project, right? You're not going to win next year if you're the Angels. Mike Trout is definitely an asset, not only in trying to get some prospects, but getting out from that contract. Really, that would be the biggest boost to that franchise. Now, if you're the Dodgers, I think you say to yourself, one, do we get Shohei Otani. If you get Otani, you've got Betts, Otani, and Freeman as your one, two, and three. That's one of the most explosive one, two, threes in Major League Baseball history. And then do you really want to just go all in and add a Mike Trout to that mix and just take it over the top? Maybe you want to do that. Or do you miss out on Otani and the Angels really want to become sellers? And then it increases the likelihood that you do trade for Mike Trout because he's more available and that Artie Moreno is willing to deal. And then he'll soon realize that there's not a lot of teams out there that will take on a Mike Trout because if Artie Moreno doesn't want to pay down any of that salary, that is a huge, huge contract to absorb. And then if you're the Dodgers, you're probably saying to yourself, we can afford it. There's no doubt about it, especially if we don't tr sign Otani. If we do sign Otani, that's a lot of money there because you're looking at signing Otani for potentially 500 plus million, trying to add one of these free agent starters, whether it be a Blake Snell, a Yamamoto, a Jordan Montgomery, a Sonny Gray, kind of list goes on and on. Maybe you just say, okay, we'll get our pitching through the trade market, right? 
and then you take on Trout's money, and what that allows you to do is keep some of those prospects, some of those top guys, the Cartayas, the Bushes, the Vargases, the Sheens, the Pepios, guys like that, and then you flip them in a potential deal, and that's how you address your starting pitching, by using the trade capital by using the prospects to get your starting pitching and then using that money to really get another bat in Mike Trout. So look, it's not impossible. It definitely isn't. I mean, would I be all in on it? Look, who would say no to Mike Trout, right? I mean, I think a better situation batting with Mookie and Freddie guys that he's comfortable with. You're talking about some of the best hitters, not even just of their generation, but in the history of Major League Baseball, right? I think a change of scenery would definitely take his game hopefully to another level. You just have to have him stay healthy. So I'm definitely not out on Mike Trout for sure. If it was a possibility, you definitely, you're looking at an impact bat that could maximize the primes of Mookie and Freddie, right? And that really has to be the priority right now, along with adding starting pitching. So I would love an Otani by himself. I would love an Otani and Trout. I would find with a Trout possibly by himself as well. It just depends on where they stack up as far as would Artie Moreno truly, truly deal him to the Dodgers. I mean, just imagine that. Imagine a few years ago if I told you Mike Trout and Otani on the Dodgers, or even just one of those two guys on the Dodgers. You would have probably assumed it was Otani, but definitely not Mike Trout. But coming up next, we've got joining us MLB insider from the Dominican Republic, Mr. Hector Gomez. So definitely stay tuned for that. And let me know down below in the comment section. On a scale of 1 to 10, how likely do you think it is? I would have to put it at like a 3. I just have to be honest with you. I feel like the Dodgers are going to try to sign Otani. They're going to try to sign one of these free agent pitchers. You saw them offer Nola a six-year, $165 million deal. That tells you that they are going to be aggressively trying to spend on starting pitching to fortify that rotation. And on top of that, I think they do want to cash it on some of these prospects to get starting pitching as well. We talked about Dylan C's earlier in the week. So, yeah, it's something to think about. Definitely a fun thought, but I do think it's unlikely. Like I said, my number one goal here is to give you guys the truth, right? To try to right to kind of take you down to earth a little bit, pour a little cold water on this, but still it's fun to think about. And who knows? I could be wrong, but here is the man coming up who tweeted out this information, tweet out this rumor that the Dodgers would be aggressively pursuing Mike Trout in a trade. Mr. Hector Gomez. What up, Dodgers Nation? D-Mag here. I'm here to remind you that if you have not yet, be sure to subscribe to the number one Dodgers YouTube channel for all latest Dodgers news, rumors, hype videos, interviews, breakdowns, live streams, and more all year long. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And if you really want to help the channel out, smash that like button. Also, you will not be eligible for any of our giveaways unless you are subscribed to the channel. So all you need to do to be eligible for all of our giveaways is just make sure that you are subscribed. We just gave away a brand new authentic Mookie Betts jersey valued at over $350. And we got tons of giveaways coming this offseason. So be sure to be subscribed so you are eligible to win. And as always, think blue, bleed blue, and please subscribe. What up, Dodgers Nation? D-Mac, here we got a special guest, MLB insider, Mr. Hector Gomez. Hector, one of the busiest times of the year. It's not the off-season, it's the on-season for you. So thank you so much for your time, my man. Hi, dog. Thank you uh, very much uh, for having me in your show. It's a great pleasure and honor for me uh, to be in Dodgers Nation podcast, right? Yep, absolutely. So, <laughs> okay. really talking Dodgers land, of course, about Shohei Otani, right? The biggest free agent ever. Just kind of in your time doing this, Hector, have you seen anything on this scale where the entire sports world is focused on one player and where he's going to sign? Is this the biggest free agency that you've ever experienced, Hector? Yeah. And first, I have to, to give you the sense, my grateful, because uh, it's incredible the... The people just every day in Twitter, in my Twitter account and Instagram, talk me about my Twitter when I was uh, uh, post this about on Saturday night, uh, late night. Uh, uh, thanks for the people that every time talk me about, about this, including your personal and Dodger Station. 
Yeah, absolutely. It, it, your tweet really was kind of the talk of the weekend as far as what we do, because look, everyone knows that the Dodgers, they want Shohei Otani. They've been angling for him for years. And we heard some whispers a few months ago about the possibility of considering a Mike Trout trade and maybe the Angels would consider moving him. And he, of course, has a no trade clause, still tons of money on that contract, has dealt with some injury issues, but just kind of take me inside of the possibility of this Mike Trout trade to the Dodgers. How likely do you think it is? Do you think that Artie Moreno would truly trade Trout to the Dodgers? Yeah. Uh, my, my source was talking about this possibility that um, Shohei Otani and Mike Trout, uh, Otani, uh, the Dodgers are the first uh, suitors to, to land in uh, Shohei Otani. And the case of Mike Trout is going to be uh, with a uh, with a trade via via trade, and uh, the Dodgers' approach this off season has been very aggressive. Uh, Andrew Freeman has always been aggressive, but in a quiet way. A good example of that was the Trevor Bauer signing in 2021. In my opinion, the Dodgers ne need to get two more starry pitchers to go along with the young pitchers that they uh, already have. Yeah, absolutely. They need to rebuild this rotation. You need two frontline guys. You know that Aaron Nola, he's off the board. You heard some rumors there in the mix to trade for possibly a Dylan Seas. We know Corbin Burns is available. Tyler Glasnow could be available. I definitely anticipate that, but I just think you look at a Mike Trout, a player that has been one of the best players this game has ever seen, one of the players of his generation. I think the big question I have, though, is you look at his salary. He's still owed $248.45 million. Do you think that is something where the Angels would consider paying down a little bit of that just to get some better prospects in return? Yeah. Uh, the, the most of the people, when I tweet this information um, uh, two days ago, uh, told me about the Dodger fan. The most of them uh, told me, Hector, but my trials have uh, uh, many, many injuries in the last uh, two years. And for that reason, the most of them are a little afraid that Dodgers made this 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 move in this moment, but in this particular moment, I think the Dodgers are the favorite to sign Shohei Otani and uh, Mike Trout via 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 trade. Obviously, they have to 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 give the the best of his talent in the middle league uh, and his uh, their best prospect. They have to be sure to to be the part of the negotiation. If uh, this this trade is going to be uh, in the in the in the next uh, uh, days, I think. So not really just uh, where he's going to be traded as far as the Dodgers, but are you pretty confident that the Angels will trade him this off season and that Mike Trout will go to the organization and pursue a trade? Do you anticipate Mike Trout being an Angel come opening day of 2024, Hector? Yeah, uh, Mike Trout has expressed interest in being part of the winning team uh, because he's tired of losing. Everybody knows that as he has expressed uh, the last year was talking about this. Uh, in the event, in the Dodgers trade for Trout, they can place him in the left field. I, I, I think that. Uh, can you imagine a dog having a tiny Trout, Betts, and Freeman on the same line? No. Yeah, that insane. would be very exciting. That's all the Infinity Stones, right? That'd be such an explosive lineup, one of the best lineups we've ever seen on paper, the best one through four where this game has ever seen. Now, one question I have for you, though, is you look at the contract he had, you look at the injuries he's had, and look, the Dodgers, they're one of only a handful of teams that would be willing to absorb $248.45 million. You'd have until his age 38 season, and yes, he has dealt with injuries, but it's still Mike Trout, right? This is still the war guy. This is still when he's right, one of the very best hitters in the game. How big of an obstacle do you think it would be that it is the Dodgers of all teams? Do you think it's a situation where, one, he kind of controls where he goes because he does have a no-trade clause, and two, not many teams out there that can absorb that kind of salary, so Artie Moreno really has no choice but to deal with the Dodgers if he wants to move his superstar. Yeah, I say I have to say that regarding straw contract, you have to remember that uh, Mr. Moreno is a very successful businessman, and you know baseball is business. Uh, Andrew Freeman has, I think, has total support from the Dodgers owners to do 
to do whatever it takes to put together a team that will win the World Series. That's their main objective. And I think we we figure out a, a lineup that has Trout, uh, Otani, Betts, uh, Freeman. It's going to be a, a dream team. Uh, I, I know the excitement that the Dodgers fan has, and I, I think and I wait that finally uh, this can be possible because I don't want I don't want to think what can is going to think the Dodgers fan if this breaking news don't be realized that I that I tweet I don't know what happened with me. <laughs> yes, that would absolutely break the internet, right? Trout, one of the biggest fish, yeah, one of the best players ever, joined the Dodgers of all teams. It seems like a wild scenario. We've seen crazier things in Major League Baseball, lots of big trades over the last couple of seasons. But not only do you trade for Trout, but that comes after you sign Otani. So next question I have is, let's say the Dodgers don't sign Shohei Otani, and the Angels are in a situation where, yeah, maybe they feel like there's some chance right now that Otani returns, and they don't re-sign him, then I think it's more of a longer-term rebuild, and then you go to Trout. Do you think there's a chance that they could trade for Trout without signing Otani? Yeah, I think that, uh, you know, in this game, anything is possible. Uh, nothing can be a surprise besides the Angels are in the American League, and you know the Dodgers in the National League. Um Compared to last year, this offseason has bigger name players in the free agent market. I think that the Dodgers are focused and is the, the main favorite team to sign uh, Shohei Otani. And the, the surprise is the most of the people think, wow, Otani and Trout one of the two best players, actually, in MLB baseball. But I think that the Dodgers has the potential, and Andrew Freeman has talked and has shown that he has interest that the, that the Dodgers will be uh, to win a World Series. I think that, that this can be realized, this, these two, uh, Otani and Trout, to the same time. It'd be incredible. That'd be like if DC and Marvel combined, you have Batman and Superman joining the Marvel Universe with Spider-Man, the game just forming the ultimate super team. One thing I want to ask you too, Hector, is you've heard his injury history the last couple of seasons. I mean, he's played in 237 of a possible 486 games. 2021 had a calf strain that forced him to miss most of that season. Played just 119 games in 2022 due to those back problems. Had that heme bone surge that limited his 2023 season to 82 games. Played just one game after July July 3rd. Do you think that his injury history is something where these are injuries you can overcome, some knickknack injuries here and there? Is it unfair to put the injury prone label on a Mike Trout? Do you think that teams would be confident trading for him knowing that he's been banged up so much over the last few seasons? Or the situation where, yeah, he was on the Angels, a losing team, you're going to shut him down? Or just where do you think he's at physically at this stage of his career? And do you think that would hinder teams from making this move? Yeah, we are talking about, uh, in the case of Mike Trout, a, a possible Hall of Famer players. You see, for example, your, uh, his statistics, a three MVP, 11-time uh, All-Star game, and his war is a war that the most of the, the, the players that's in the, in the Cooperstown Hall of Fame, uh, Mike Trout has better war than the most of them. For that reason, I think it's going to be uh, a good addition to the Tigers. Um, of course, many people say that Mr. Moreno uh, doesn't want that his uh, franchise player is going to be to the other part of LA, Los Angeles uh, and Angels. But I think uh, Otani, uh, uh, people told me that, it, no Otani, that Otani once that trout continue to be with him in another team that this can be uh, Dodgers. I think that is possible. And we are joined by Hector Gomez, the ultimate MLB insider in the Dominican Republic, here to talk about all things Dodger baseball, all things offseason. His tweet about Mike Trout and a possible trade option for the Dodgers. Hector, I had people telling me, some of my friends, hey, did one thing you got to ask Hector is, did he get hacked? Was that a hack right there? And is that why he tweeted that? But no, this is real. This is definitely a possibility. Now, kind of want to shift gears a little bit and just kind of get your sense 
uh, where the Dodgers are at this off season. Just kind of talking to people in agent circles around the league. Just what's your sense of how aggressive the Dodgers are going to be this off season? Not only when it comes to going after Shohei Otani, but adding starting pitching through free agency and the trade market. Just what's your sense of how hard and how all in the Dodgers are going to go this off season? Yeah, I think uh, the, the soft season, the Dodgers are going to to many, 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 many deals. Um, it's going to be uh, one of the best teams that they can show in the next season, uh, 20, 2024. 2024. Uh, let's do, to, to grace for the, the fans, of Dodgers fans. I don't know, Doug, if you know that in our country, the first academy in our country, in Campo Las Palmas, was by uh, Dodgers. Have you uh, another question? To me to you. Have you been seeing our country? I have. I've been to the DR. I've been to the DR. Had a great time. Visit a lot of rum factories. Had some good times right there in the DR. You got the La Sangre, right? The blood of baseball, <laughs> right? I learned all about the DR, man. And yes, the rich history. I is there, right? You got Manny Moda. He goes all the way deep into Adrian Beltre. So many great superstars. Pedro Martinez. Why do we ever trade him? I still lose sleep about that every single night, Mr. Hector Gomez. But yeah, I love the history and the tradition of the DR. Now, just kind of the entire baseball world. I know how big it is. It is everything. The baseball is everything in your country. Yeah. In our country, one of the, the, the favorite teams, franchise Dodgers, Los Angeles Dodgers, because for example, uh, we remember uh, the most of the Dominican fans when, for example, Pedro Guerrero uh, was the MVP in the World Series in 1981 with Ron C. and Steve Jigger. Um, Ramon Martinez, Pedro's brother, was second in the career of Cy Young Award in 1990. Uh, I, I, I think Don Rabic was a Cy Young that year. And Ramon Martinez was the second in the in, in the in the ballots, um, recently, for example, Raúl Mondesi uh, was a rookie of the year. I think in the six Dodgers players consecutive years was were the 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 rookie of the year award. A uh, dog story because I have to now to go to my TV show. Uh, the next time we. I came to take more time to be with you at uh, Dodgers Nations. It's an honor and pleasure for me to be with you in Dodgers Nation podcast. Oh, Hector, we appreciate every single minute. Thank you so much for joining the show today, talking to all things Dodger baseball, Mike Trout, Shohei Otani, such an exciting offseason. I know you're an extremely busy man, so I will not hold you up any longer. Thank you so much for joining us here at Dodgers Nation, here on Dodgers Dugout, part of the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel. So, Sorry. Hector, Thank you so sorry, much. Enjoy it, man. Sorry for my bad English because I learned it every day. Sorry. <laughs> hey, your English is a lot better than my Spanish, my man. You killed it. I really appreciate you <laughs> joining us today, my man. I got to visit you next time I go to the DR. Nice to meet you. Thanks. All right. Take it easy, Hector. Bye-bye.